it's no longer science fiction to say that a $500 or $1,000 FPV drone can destroy or disable a vehicle worth millions. A swarm of cheap aerial and surface drones, if used cleverly, can threaten warships that cost billions. Rain's Ukraine analysis points out that drones have become central instruments of cost imposition, enabling a smaller, poorer state or actor to impose sustained losses on a larger one at a fraction of the price of the systems being destroyed. Once that cost curve breaks, scale comes next. If a serious armored vehicle costs a few million dollars and a kamikaze drone costs a few hundred, one side can afford to fill drones in industrial quantities. We're not talking tens, we're talking thousands, and soon enough, millions. That leads directly to the second shift. When you have hundreds or thousands of drones in the air, humans physically cannot micromanage every one, like the previous generation of predators or reapers, where you had an actual pilot with a joystick. No human operator can hand fly 50 drones in a swarm, react to jamming in milliseconds, reroute each drone individually in a dynamic environment, or monitor every camera feed in real time. So you start delegating. You let the drones avoid collisions by themselves. You let onboard systems classify targets and flag threats. You let the swarm organize its own formation and reassign roles when one unit is lost. You let software choose alternative paths when GPS drops or a linkage is jammed. Autonomy stops being a luxury and becomes a need. The more drones you have, the less you can afford to have a human in the loop for every micro decision.